Hiya, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rosie Henshaw and if you're new here, then welcome. It's lovely to meet you. And if you're already existing, then thank you guys. Welcome back. <laughs> Cringy as ever, bring in the cringe, it's fine. Um, so grab yourselves a cup of drink. A cup of drink. <laughs> Grab yourselves a cup of tea or a hot drink and some snacks. This is how we're doing it. And I'm gonna bring, bring I'm gonna be, I'm gonna bring. Dreams can come true. I'm not being rude actually. That's from Gavin and Stacey, and then I realised that might be really offensive. Um, but let's get on with it. Um, if you watch Gavin and Stacey, you'll know what I mean. Right, high five today. I haven't been on it, it feels like ages. It sounds silly, but I get excited when I come back. So this is a little hack that I'm bringing you today. This hack, I thought up, and I thought, you know what? This is actually a really good idea because most people will have these items in their house to make with. You don't have to have craft supplies to make this. You don't really have to have a lot of anything. This is kind of standard stuff that you would have. Um, so I'm gonna be making a memo board or a chalkboard. It's, the option is up to you, completely up to you what you wanna make. I'm gonna show you how you do both. And we're gonna be making them with a simple photo frame that we have and um, so if you've got a photo frame at home it can be small it can be large it doesn't really matter if it's a small sort of um, standing up one that can be used for desktop or you can still put it on the wall as a little one i've got this frame and um, so this is a wooden one from the range and for this size i thought it was really reasonable for actual wood as well I really like this it's eight pound um, so this is about um, been out in my garage a little bit folded and creasy you can also see my little um my make do tripod which is my candlestick for my phone. I'm the most worst filmer. Um, but yeah, we've got our uh, photo frame ready. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be making the chalkboard or memo board out of that. So if you're gonna be wanting to make a chalkboard, I'll show you the chalkboard first. Um, what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to take the wooden backing out of the back. And what I would do is, see the little wooden carbon on the back. And what I've done is on one side, I've painted it black. Now, if you don't have um, chalkboard paint, that's fine. You can use standard black paint, and I'll show you in a minute why. But I did have chalkboard paint. Um, this is Rust-Oleum chalkboard paint, and you can get it in a spray can. You can get it in tins as well. It can be magnetic. You can get whatever you like. Um, this one I got from the range, I believe. I've had this for a little while because I made a little chalkboard thing for the garden last summer. So that's quite good. And what I've done is I've sprayed it. Now, if I wanted this to be just a, a plain chalkboard, I would literally take the glass out of the frame, because it's proper chalkboard paint, pop it back in, and it would be a plain chalkboard, you, that, no problems. But because I'm very aware, not everyone just has chalkboard paint, but most of you might have a little test of hot black paint, or they're very, very easy to get hold of. Um, painting with black tester pot, but what you're gonna do is not take the glass out. So I'm gonna pop this, back into the actual frame. I'm not gonna close it up because we're gonna show you. So once you've got your, oh look, it's me. <laughs> All the craft items on the table. Once you've got your frame in there, like your black piece in there, and it's got the glass on the front, this is lovely because this is now gonna be your new chalkboard, but you're not actually gonna need to, um, wipe it down as much. So I've got these whiteboard markers. So these aren't whiteboard markers, this is a chalkboard marker, but these are to go on glass. These are the liquid chalk. Any liquid chalk ones will go on glass. Um, now, to be honest, I never buy the chalk sticks. The reason I don't, I find them really dusty. I find them really hard to wipe off the chalkboard anyway. So I like to have liquid chalk, and I had these for my chalkboard at Christmas. We've got a little Christmas chalkboard that we put in the kitchen. Um, and these are two for 99p from the range. They do these in the pound shop. They do these in home bargains, everywhere. And simply, you would write over the top of the glass. I'm just gonna write my name. Little heart, so you can see. And you can just use this as a little memo board. You could even put some like big faux flowers attached to this, glue them down, would look really beautiful. This could be a wedding table plan if you wanted it to be. Anything you wanna be. Um, you have to wipe erase the, uh, the chalkboard pens though, so I'll do that in a second. But this is the other idea. So this is actually the idea that I'm gonna be doing. Now, my children, obviously, a lot of people are homeschooling at the moment, and I'll take my hats off to anybody else that is as well. And it can be hard work. So I'm finding using a reward chart for the children is working really, really well, and um, because then it's visual, they can see whether they've been uh, behaving or not. So I've got some of these like little um, star stickers. I'm gonna be using these. And um, these are 69p, and I've also got some post-it notes, and I'll show you why in a moment. I think these were from the range as well, I'm not too sure. Um, 
little sip of tea. So I'm going to be taking the backing back out because this is what I'm going to be doing for my kitchen. So I'm just going to pop the backing back out of it. Oh, it's so tight. It sounds like it's going to smash every time, but it really isn't. Now, for this, you can use anything. Now, you could print stick pictures of your children onto this. If you've got some brown paper because you want it to be rustic, you could glue this onto it. I'm going to be using some fabric. So, an off cut of fabric, you can use pillowcases, an old shirt, an old dress. I'm going to be using an old tea towel today. Um, and it's one of the calf kits and ones that I got from the charity shop. So, one of my faves. Um, and I think this is just going to be a lovely contrast. It's going to go really nice in that frame. It's going to look really, really lovely. Um, so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop the fabric over the top of the frame. I would recommend ironing the fabric first, or you could be using wrapping paper, wallpaper, anything you want behind this. Old scraps of wallpaper would look beautiful as well. I don't, know if I, I don't know why I didn't think of that, but like a little polka dot one down the garage we could have used. Um, I'm going to be using this. Now... If you want to do this, I would leave a little overlay and then just trim it off once it's on the frame. So I'm going to stand up to show you this, otherwise you're not going to see very much at all. I'm just going to lean the frame up, make sure the fabric's on that way. I'm going to lay it flat. And as I'm pushing it in, and I'm going to do it the opposite side as well. If you're going to be doing um, the whiteboard idea, but you want to change it up sometimes, leave the blackboard a bit black. And just glue the paper or the wrapping paper or wallpaper to the opposite side. If you're using fabric, you obviously don't need to glue anything down. That's absolutely fine as it is. It's tricky to try and show you one-handedly. But I, I, I do understand YouTube is visual. I can't just be sitting here not filming. <laughs> not showing you what I'm doing. So I'm going to pull these. Oh, that's what's going on. These clips are still a little bit bent over. So let me just open them a little bit. It is really simple, I promise. It's normally like a two second job, but I'm just making a meal. I'm going to lay it down and do it. I'm making a mountain out of molehill. Is that what that's saying? There we go. Is it all popped in? Oh, yeah, that is actually what is exactly what's happening. So, them black two tags at the bottom, they're actually stuck down. It was them two. I'm trying to do the sides, I'm thinking it's the sides, but it actually isn't the sides. If I knew I could edit, sometimes I say, guys, I'm going to learn to edit, so then all of this can sort of be edited out, and it'd be nice and frequent, I can get my phone pointing down so you can see what I'm doing, and then you're like, no, don't learn to edit, we like it. <laughs> and then you're just left with videos like this, so I do apologise. Um, pull it nice and tight as well, make sure there's no creases, and then pop it down right. So I've popped the little tags down over the top, you can trim this little bit of fabric off, so it's perfect, you can even glue it, like with decoupage onto the actual fabric. I'm going to push it in because this side isn't pushed in. Sometimes because the fabric obviously is quite tight as it is, they make the, the, um, the wood really flush to the fabric, um, to the frame anyway. There we go, we've done it. We've actually done it, guys. <laughs> so like I said, this should be ironed first. I'm going to trim off the excess fabric. This should be ironed first anyway. And um, so then you wouldn't have that line, you would sort of like get rid of that line. Let's turn it upside down because I'm not wiped the chalk off yet. So this is going to be for my kitchen. Now I'm going to do half and half now. So I'm going to do half memo board and then I'm going to also do half my wall chart. So I've got these whiteboard marker pens. Now you can get these anywhere, but Home Bargains is definitely the best value. 69p and you get one, two, three, four, you get six of these. So you get two black, two blue, one red and one green. I'm only going to be using the black. Um, but it's always good because, you know, if you've got red and green, you can always do it. Instead of buying stickers or stars or memo pad, they could have a green tick or a red tick. Red tick, naughty, green tick, great, good. Anything like that that you want to do. But I think the green might sort of like you might not see it as well with the little leaves and stuff. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm just going to write out a simple plan. So it'll just be the shopping list will be up the top here. This can be anything that you want in it. It could be birthdays. You could have like, I need eggs bread i don't need eggy bread let's put a little comma between it this little section here i could say events obviously at the moment there's no events so it could be my birthday which is coming up just really fill it out to a big old doodle if you want to in the corner just really make it really cute and um, you can write a little fancy you know like when you've got them costas at christmas and they draw in the window with the chocolate it just looks absolutely beautiful i'm gonna have a little practice i think um, but this is wipeable so it's really really easy and then at the bottom 
I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna use my knee. <laughs> Trusty knee. I'm gonna use my knee. So obviously we've got Millie, we've got Archie, and we've got Alfie. Now what I thought would be a really good idea, rather than just using pens, I've got some little post-it notes. Now, you can use any post-it notes, but I thought these were quite pretty. Um, so these, I think they were from the range, but you get like urgent, FYI, so, you know, could be a doctor's appointment, you pop that next to your doctor's appointment, just so you know, just to remind you to do, I'll get some bread and, I don't know, do you know what I mean? Make it really memory, make it really cool. But they come with some little plain green ones, which I thought were quite sweet, so I'm just gonna pop them next to their names, because I don't wanna stick stickers directly onto this, um, but these post-it notes are really easy. They don't need no tack or no marks on it. Um, so this is going to be in my kitchen. Would put them on a little bit straight. And then I've got some sticky stars. So they were 69p from Home Bargains as well. For the range. Show you know what? They both sell basically the identical stuff. So Millie's been good today, so she gets a star. So, you know, they can get their little seven stars on there. Work out whether they've behaved or not. Or do you know what? Ideally, you could wipe all of this out. It's so simple. Start again. And it could even be, I don't know, if you're going to do their maths or science with them, put it up on the wall when you're learning your kids and they've got like a trick equation or something to do. You could always just do this on here, get them to have a little go as well. So this is my little quick memo book. What I thought was really nice about that is because most people have an old photo frame indoors. Most people can paint something. Like, for instance, if you don't have black paint or you don't have wallpaper or, you know, wrapping paper or something in the back of there, you might have one colour of paint that you like. So paint the back in in that colour instead. It really doesn't matter. What would look really nice at the moment as well because of the NHS and stuff and rainbows are really, really in anyway as well in all the bedroom schemes. This could be in like a, a children's room. So like, you know, they're doing homework and stuff. You could paint the background white and get some tester pots in pastel colours and paint a rainbow inside it. Could be literally anything, your kid's masterpiece or handprints. What would be really, really cute if it was all like plain white behind and you've got your children, I've got three children, so Alfie could do a green handprint, Archie could do a blue, Millie could do a pink, and then I could stick their stars or their awards above on top of their little hands. That'd be really, really cute. There's loads of little ideas that you can do with this. You could even have this like at a wedding with a table plan on it. Obviously write it a lot neater than what I've done. Um, and you could stick eucalyptus and big flowers up the edges of this and really, really dress it up. But I just thought it was a really quick little hack with a photo frame. And it's just such a nice little idea because sometimes it's just something to do as well, isn't it? Sometimes, you know, it's getting a little bit boring. Staying at home, there's not much to do. And obviously, we're not complaining because we're safe. But it's just a nice little craft thing to do. And I just thought I'd share that with you because I'm going to be up the table today. I've got a few little crafts I'm going to be making. Um, so this is today's one that I've showed you. I've got a big summer wreath coming up tomorrow. I can't wait. I literally can't wait. This is going to make me feel so happy. I think I'm going to put it on the inside of my door because there's no point in it being on the outside. And I think I'm going to put it on the inside of my door. And it's just every time I walk out in the hallway, it's going to make me feel happy. So if you want to see that tomorrow, I've got some really bright colours coming on. Um, that'll be tomorrow as well. And then Sunday's video is going to be my outfits for the week again, shopping my wardrobe. There's a few goodies that I actually forgot I had, which I can't wait. Um, yeah, and two tops are actually from ASOS, which are for my like summer put away. So I'm going to share them with you as well. Might as well now. I'm not going away. So I might as well. And um, yeah, and then I've got another craft video coming up as well. I've got like funky planters and plant pots, like trash to treasure. So it can either be used from trash or plant pots that you have. We're gonna make all these like funky Maisons de Monde type things that we're gonna, we're gonna have them going on. So that'll be on Monday. So we've got a video coming up for the next four days every day. Um, just that there's a little something to do if you wanna watch this and lovely. And if you wanna have a little make, then it's lovely as well. I will include in the description box my Instagram as well. I do love it when you guys make some of your own items and I get to see what you've made. Um, so I'll link that below in the description boxes below as well. And I hope you're all safe, you're staying well. I know I've been Rosie Henshaw, so I'm gonna take care. I'm gonna take care. I'm gonna take care. <laughs> the things I come out with. Yes, you take care, you take care. I hope you but, I, but I'm gonna take care, that's what I'm saying. I'm gonna take care as well. No, you know what I mean. You take care, and I'm gonna go, because I'm blambling on, and I'm really looking forward to start making the wreath, so I'm gonna get on with that now as well. Take care, hopefully you'll stick around tomorrow to see that as well. If not, please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and you want to. If you don't, that's also fine. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And thank you as well for all the lovely comments as well. It's really, really lovely. I love, I love reading all your comments. So take care. Have a lovely day. Bye.